I'm Jim Cairns. We at Cypress want to show you how easy it is to make your product more elegant and durable with the Cypress CapSense Express touch sensing solution. The designers of this digital photo frame did just that. When you touch the frame, the hidden buttons become active to control the display. No mechanical parts to wear out. But CapSense Express isn't just for consumer electronics. Chances are you're developing a product that would benefit from replacing a mechanical button, switch, slider, or dial. John, our demo man, is going to show you how easy it is to configure and optimize your CapSense Express device specifically for your product. John? Let me show you how easy it is to configure CapSense Express for your application. Using PSOC Designer, within the Inputs catalog, there's a folder for CapSense Express which contains all of the CapSense Express devices in the portfolio. We're going to use the four button compact design for our demo. Adding that to the design and opening up the tuner allows us to configure the pin functions, choosing between CapSense and general purpose inputs and outputs. Assign the pins to the particular functions as our application requires. For the logic, determine how an output will be set based upon the other inputs. And for CapSense, optimize the settings based on our application. For the CapSense tuner, as we touch the demo board, you can see the signal counts are displayed in numbers and also in a red bar showing the strength of the signal. With this bare board, we have a very strong signal. If we want to reduce the sensitivity of our board, we can do this by changing the IDAC from 14 to 100, and then apply this to our board. And now as I touch the, the board, you can see the signal is not as strong because we've reduced the sensitivity. It's not strong enough to actually detect the finger. Finger detection is controlled by the finger threshold. If we reduce finger threshold now to 60 and apply that to our board, you can see now, as I press a finger, it does have enough signal to exceed the finger threshold line, the blue line. Most CapSense designs are not made up of a bare board, so let's look at how adding an overlay, in this case two millimeters of clear acrylic to our design, affects the sensitivity and how we can tune for it. So if I go back to the other CapSense input with the original settings, you can see as I touch it, some signal is detected, but not enough to even make the red bar move. We can make this design more sensitive now by reducing the IDAC setting. I'm going to choose three and applying that to our board. Now, as I touch the button, you can see there's enough signal now to move the red bar, and it's difficult to get it to exceed the finger threshold. So I'm going to also reduce the finger threshold to match the signal. Apply that to the board. And now as I press the finger with the two millimeters of overlay, you can see I'm detecting with the increased sensitivity of IDAC. Once you have configured your CapSense Express device for your application and tuned it, you can choose the Export Report button, and this will produce a programming file for your device suitable for third-party programming vendors. Thanks, John. Along with this easy design flow, you get elegance and durability an industry-leading touch-sensing performance, and the tiniest PCB footprint.
The Cypress CapSense portfolio runs from simple CapSense Express solutions, as we've just shown you, all the way up to highly integrated PSOC programmable systems on chip that include CapSense touch and proximity sensing. Please take a moment now to talk with your sales representative, or FAE, about how CapSense Express solutions would benefit you. I'm Jim Cairns. Thank you for watching.